Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magus, and I welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 7! We just completed chapter 20, Dragon's Gates, and we're about to go into chapter 21, which is also a really cool map. They find the man who, who, whom they've been searching for, Marcus Farah. He breathes his last in the embers of his son, Eliwood. The companions have left Dragon... leave the Dragon's Gate and set sail for Badon. Eliwood is grief-stricken at his father's death. Hector can find no words to comfort his friend. Yes, and we're back here. It's time for this map. This map has an arena. Chapter 21, New Resolve. Ninian, are you feeling better? Yes. That's good. Long time no see, Nils. You've grown, haven't you? Is it really you, Lindis? It seems like it's been so long. Even though it's only been a year since I saw you last, so much has happened since we left you and Kaelin. Hey, care to talk about things the rest of us can follow? Hmm, who's he? This is Hector, he's Marcus Ostia's brother. Don't let his attitude fool you. He acts mean, but he's decent enough. Acts mean seems pretty mean to me. <laughs> and you might remember this one, he's uh... Yeah, I remember. He's the man who helped Ninian. You're Elbert's son, aren't you? You red, your, your red hair, gentle eyes, and even voice. You're just like him. Where did you meet my father? At the Dragon's Gates. He set us free after we'd been captured. We escaped in a small boat, but I was thrown out in a storm. When I woke up, I was back on Valor. For a time, I hid in the ruins by myself. Then I sent something really dangerous. When I raced to the Dragon's Gate, I saw everything. Nils. When we pulled Ninian from the boat, she'd lost her memory. I can't believe we brought her right back to her captors. What a horrible thing to do, I'm sorry. Lady Lin, Lady Lin, you did nothing wrong. When Nils fell overboard, I didn't know what to do. I became lost within myself, if only I'd been stronger. All of this could have been avoided. I am truly sorry. Ninian's power is greater than mine, but it costs her physical and emotional strength. Nurgle exploited that weakness. Ninian, Nils. Was he after you because you have the power to call dragons? I think it's because we can open the dragon's gates. Just calling them? Nurgle can do that on his own. Are you serious? Yeah, but it requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. Quintessence? That's what Nurgle called it. The substance of the human spirit. Power, energy, the essence of life itself. Nurgle, he stole this quintessence. What happens to those whose quintessence is stolen? They... they die. Neither Ninian nor I have that power. Lin knows, we only have our special power. Anyways, Nurgle needed to gather a large amount of quintessence, so he sent his henchman Ephidel to get close to Marcus Laos. He sought to plant the seeds of war in Darren's power-hungry heart. To what end? It seems that quintessence in each person varies in strength. A person of strong mind and body has hundred times more quintessence energy sorry, than the average person. It sounds like there aren't that ma many people like that, though. It took too long for Nurgle to find people with enough strength. Though it would take time, Nurgle said the easiest way to get that much quintessence was by starting a war. So he planned to make up by but for quality with quantity, is that it? Black-hearted fiend. Are all men nothing but pawns to him? Ephidol brought Elbert to the Dragon's Gates. He said that he found the ideal source they had sought. Nurgle's plan for war had been stopped, and yet he was happy. He'd taken so much energy from the knights traveling with Elbert. He was sure he'd get even better quintessence from Elbert. Nils! Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Elliwood. It's alright. When I found my father at the Dragon's Gates, I knew his knights were no longer alive. Elliwood! Your father told us that he had a son. He said that you were blessed with natural fighting ability, but he also told us that you were compassionate and disdained fighting. He told us that his son was a better, by, was, would be a better ruler than he was. He told us that he would sooner sacrifice himself than see his own homeland Lysia embroiled in the flames of war. That's... When we'd lost all hope at the Dragon's Gate, your father always spoke of us... Spoke us... us of happy things. Well, he mainly spoke of his cherished son and his dear wife. But Ninian and I, we loved him very much. His stories about his family, they saved us. Oh, fa father... Hector! We should let him be alone for a while. Sure, come on, Ninian. Nils, as you say. Is that okay, Hector? Huh? Shouldn't you go with him? Mmm, thought about it, but uh, there was someone else who looked ready to start crying, too. Oh. Hey, Ninian's gone. Where'd she go? I'll go and look. Hold on. Your sister's been through a lot, too. Let her be for a while. I don't need you to tell me what she's been through! So what do we do now? 
I wonder what happened to Nurgal. Lord Elbert gave him a grievous wound when he stabbed him. His wounds will not kill him. That's what Lord Elbert said too. Do you know what he meant? Nurgle uses quintessence on, on himself as well. His wounds heal quickly. His body does not age. So he isn't human? If nothing else, he's... Ah! What is it? Call everyone! Enemies approach! Bah! Elwood deserves a little bit time more to rest. Well then, we'll handle this ourselves, shall we? I think we need to bring Elwood out here, actually. No, he's here, yeah. Here you all are! Ah! Elwood! Why did I give her the Ninian voice? Listen, get ready for battle. I want to get this war over with quickly to protect villagers. Meet the enemy commander and drive them out of here. Hey, little guy, go hide in the village. No way, I can help you out too. Nils, you really are a big help, but shouldn't you be with Ninian now? Ah, uh, alright. Let's go! Da da da! Okay, you have to bring Hollywood. Well, that's just fucking great. Um, balls. So, thing is, there is an arena on this map. Uh, it's actually a really nice arena too. Um, thing is, I feel like I, I feel like I should level up Hector to level 20 in the arena, just so he doesn't like. I'm not gonna equip him with any weapons or anything, but it's so annoying that he like get, risks getting one shot by everyone now. So I think I just need to train him up. It would be an ideal place to train Barker as well. But the thing is, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to bring bring two more units. I'm gonna have to bring Priscilla because uh, I can't use Sarah to heal. Um, and I'm gonna have to bring Bartra too, which can be... You know what? I can drop Lynn from this chapter and maybe we can have a chapter without Marcus. That feels nice. Uh, so we're gonna bring Bartra and we're gonna bring Priscilla. So that seems nice. We're gonna keep them back for the time being though. Sell the Nosferatu. So who has the silver card? We don't need the door key right now. Go. Oh yeah, Elliwood has all that stuff. So there's no secret shops in this chapter, so we're just gonna let Hector do the shopping, I guess. Da 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 da. Actually, yeah, we're gonna let him do the shopping. Um, da, 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 da. All right. So Elliwood, we have to bring him for some reason. We could sell that silver sword. Truth be honest, uh, and I'm gonna also gonna let Guy pick up a Killing Edge as well as a Silver Fucking Blade. Yeah, it's ter it's a terrible idea to give him that, but still, I don't care. All right, uh, do we have any vulnerabilities for Will? We don't. Rebecca, on the other hand, can get a Killer Bow as well as a Steel Bow. And then we have Sarah. We don't need the Unlock Staff here, and the Sleep Staff probably not either. However, we have that Torch Staff, don't we? Oh no, we used that up. Oh, we actually have a lot of torches though, which we should give give out. Um, we could get the barrier staff though, and uh, maybe a heal. We could use up this heal staff. Am I bringing Matthew? No, I don't think I need to bring Matthew to be quite honest. Uh, or actually, maybe I do because there's stealable stuff in here. Ah, fuck. Do I need to drop another character? No, I can't do that. Let's see. Um, as much as I want to bring Matthew, I don't. I. I, I think the boss has a hero quest, if I remember correctly, and that's worth 5,000 gold, so it would definitely be nice to bring Matthew, but do I really want to bring him out here? Um, I don't think I do. I can live without 5,000 gold. I really can. Um, I'd rather level up Will and Rebecca and Bartra, to be quite honest. I need to do it sometime soon if I'm going to be using Carla, so... Yeah, we're just gonna be stashing your stuff. Give all actually a brave bow. Brave I almost said brave boy again. I almost said it. Almost said it. I'm gonna give that to Will. And yes, this looks nice. Oh, of course, we gotta give Sarah a lightning tome. Man, she uses up those quickly. Holy crap. Alright, this is probably gonna go to hell, but who cares? Let's uh use up some torches, shall we? Elliewood and Hector can be like torch bots. Gotta be a little bit careful there. There's oh, enemies starting around you uh, from the get-go, so... Gotta be a little bit careful here. All of you guys can use torches. Da, 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 da. Come to think of it, though, maybe we should just... Okay, who should we level up first? Will or Rebecca? I'm saying Rebecca because Rebecca's awesome. So I'm actually gonna bring Rebecca and not Will. Nah, that's terrible. I, I, sh I, sh I shouldn't do that. They're pretty terrible without each other. I'm just wondering if I should bring Matthew or not. Uh, because uh, honestly, 5,000 gold is a lot of gold. I don't know! Ah! 
You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do this with that guy. Haha. <laughs> Besides, I want one. I want a thief to use torches on. So this is a terrible idea. I'm gonna give him a killing edge just for the lulls. We don't need the lockpick, but I'm gonna take it anyway, I guess. Thing is, it's really nice to have line of sight with thieves. Wow, there's a. Where's the enemies? Well, there's ballistas here for Will and um, for Will and uh, Will and other dude. Wow. Any enemies up here? Yeah, there's actually dark mages up here, or light mages. Hmm. I shouldn't I shouldn't go forward immediately, but there are stuff happening over here. There are um, there are many enemies up here. See, what's these guys' resistance? Ten. Sarah deals 18 damage, so she's just gonna do 8 damage to these guys, which is not a lot. I think I'd rather want to send her over here, to be quite honest. Ah, this is gonna be terrible. You know what, I, I gotta bring Guy. I have no fighting units there, it's insane, and this chapter is actually kinda difficult. We can live- 5,000 gold though. Uh, I don't know, I really don't. 5,000 gold, do I want that? Is it worth it? Nah, we can live without it. I am so indecisive right, indecisive right now, but I seriously feel like we need it. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see how this goes. If, it, if we fail horribly, we're gonna bring Matthew. Alright, of course I want to deploy Merlinus. Ninian, stop! Where are you going? I'm going to help! Oh no, you're not. You're still too weak. But I merely wish to help Lord Elliwood. Even if just a little. And my apologies, the game crashed. This happens sometimes. Uh, luckily, it was uh, during a scene, so I just had to restart it again. I had to do the battle preparations differently, though, uh, because uh, it didn't save those. So I actually changed my mind, and I went back, and I uh, and I got rid of Guy, and I decided to use both my archers, because um, I think that I'll be able to do this level. It's not a really a hard one, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I'm going to help... Oh no, you're not. You're still too weak. But I merely wish to help Lord Elliwood, even if it's just a little. I stole his father's life from him. I know this will never make up for it. Nils, please. I understand. Give me your hands. Nils? I'll give you some of my power. You'll just get in the way if you go out like this. Nils, I'm sorry. My god, she's, she's got a nice rack though. Gotta give her that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Phew! That should do it. Help them for me, too. Thank you. All right. Here we go. All right. Lord Elliwood! Ninian, you shouldn't be here. Please allow me to help. Help? I have no intention of making you fights. I am no mere dancer. My dances, they will help you. Please allow me to help. Okay, if it will make you feel better. But you mustn't do anything risky. Promise me this. Yes. All right. Thanks. Please tell me what you want me to do. Oh, trust me, you don't want to repeat that sentence. I cannot fight, but I can aid with my dance. I ask for your understanding and assistance. Alright, so... The first thing we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go on a Sarah rampage. Sarah, with her amazing avoidance, can probably take care of most of these guys, I think. Oh, maybe not. Well, actually, they have poison lances, and they have crappy stats as fuck. So maybe we, that won't be so bad anyway. Okay, anyway, let's go kill these guys. We're not gonna... We're gonna group Will and Rebecca up eventually, but first we're gonna use them to take care of these guys. Yep! Sit down. I do believe there's some guys up here as well. Yes, there are. Not the longbow, though. Let's use the shortbow. I like the critical. Might as well use it up. It's not that good of a weapon. It's not anywhere near as good as it was in the last promise, that's for sure. Alright, let us use a uh, torch with Matthew, so we can see the incoming enemies, although Sarah also did use a torch of her own, but... Oh my god, now we can see everything. It's like it's not a Fog of War map anymore. Anyway, let's put the two friends uh, together here. We could always visit the village with Elliewood. Why all the noise? It's the middle of the night! Watch a fight! Are you going to do something? Really? Then here, take this! It shall aid you! HRE Star Staff, it'll wake you up from sleep and cure poison! Basically, it'll cure what's wrong and bring you back to normal. Now I'm tired. Why can't you people fight at a decent hour? <laughs> oh yeah, restore staff. Yeah, we're gonna use that to cleanse poison. That's not a waste at all. Alright, Bartra, I need to get away from these guys. 
I'm a little bit worried about him, actually. I'm just gonna put him over here. Alright, Sarah, are you ready to kick some ass? I'm gonna put her into the arena. Not to use it, but I'm gonna... Oh, I might... Oh, Sarah, you are amazing. <laughs> I might have overextended her just a little bit. Oh my oh my god! Sarah kicks ass. The thing is these guys have poison weapons, which is why they're so ridiculously weak. Poison weapons have shitty stats. They have so shitty stats, it's insane. They can't hit for shits. Oh my god, Sarah, you are amazing. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, a Shine Tome. Shine Tomes are pretty good, if I remember correctly. They're not that much heavier than Lightning Tomes, and they do a lot more damage. Don't know if they have any built-in critical. I don't think they do. I'm gonna have to check their stats. I do believe that shop over there sells some additional Lightning Tomes, because God knows, Sarah's gonna be using a lot of hers. Alright, let's see... They got actually 8... What's up with the 8% critical? <laughs> that's weird, that's a, that's a random number. Why would it have 8% critical on it? I don't get that. Yep! And yeah, I also gave Sarah an elixir, because uh, I uh, I planned to do this with her, but I forgot about it when I first initially did my battle preparation. So now, I am just going to massacre everyone over here, and with the dodge from the arena, Sarah should actually be able to kill almost everyone on her own, which is quite ridiculous when you think about it. Alright, let's just tuck the uh, two bros inside here, and uh, I can dance for Molina, seriously? Alright, I can give him Ninin's Grace, of course, I didn't think about that. Alright, kill this guy. Uh, yeah, that Shine Tome is pretty good, I should probably get one of those for Sarah. Well, isn't that convenience? I got one! Nice, I'm gonna go give that to Sarah, for sure. Alright, let's just tuck everyone nice and tight in here, while Sarah just kills everyone. <laughs> no one can hit her because they got poison weapons, and she has the 10% dodge from the arena. She's basically invincible. <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh my god. Who's, who said it was difficult to level up Sarah's light magic, eh? Huh? It's not difficult at all, you just do this. If she doesn't get S rank in lightning magic, I don't know what. Oh my god, she crits so much! It's insane. And thank you, I guess. That's very nice of you. Uh, I guess we don't need that torch anymore. Thanks a lot. That's that's helpful. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right, let's go visit this village. Oh. Those emerald eyes, that lustrous blue hair! She was so beautiful, beautiful beyond words! If only I could see her again! A lovely knight of Fera, searching for her lord! I wonder why she's a knight! A famed knight and me, that's a dream of a dream! Wah, you! I was just thinking out loud! You didn't hear anything, did you? Wah! You mustn't tell anyone, promise me you mustn't! Yeah, so he's talking about Isadora, pretty much. Who else would it be? Alright, Bart, we can go visit this village, I suppose. Could bring Matthew along too, why not? Alright, Sarah, go kick smash. Oh, you got a poison axe, do you? Well, that's not gonna hit me. Not in a million, not in a million years. Oh, a poison bow. Oh, no, that does so much damage. Actually, that's a little bit annoying because she's gonna lose hit points every turn now. But that's why I gave it the, the elixir because I knew that could happen. Sit down, son. Actually, it's a little bit sad that I, d I gave away the torch, come to think of it. That's actually... Yeah. The torch is actually a little bit nice to have. It's nice to see what kind of enemies are incoming. Also, Sarah level up. Speed and luck. Well, speed is nice, I guess. Oh, I can kill this uh, priest with Rebecca. Sure. When you're just standing there, I'd I'll be happy to kill you. Alright. Alright. Healer down. Well, that's not a healer. It's this. This chapter features a lot of monk. Holy crap! A lot of monk. A lot of monk. Monks. Monk. 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 Can't believe bandits under attack. If only Fargus were here. Say, I got something here you could use to buy some time. Set this light rune, and it'll block the enemy's advance. Only thing is, it'll stop allies too. So watch your step. Well, thank you. I'm gonna sell that probably. Never really seen that much usage of the light rune, really. All right. Are you a mercenary? You look well trained. Your tactician must be especially rigorous. 
Thank you, I guess. Um... Why, why didn't you give me an item, huh? Huh? Took all this trouble to get to- Oh, That's my Elysian Whip gone. Yeah, that kinda sucks. I was kinda hoping to rescue that village. That's 5,000 gold I'll never get back, but honestly, we're good. I can't expect to do everything right now, can I? So yeah, I thought, I thought for sure the bandit would go for Sarah, but I guess you can't have everything your way. Alright, let's light it light it up with Matthew and see if we can kill some guys. Uh, ooh, a Pegasus Knight. Sure, I can kill her. Oh! <laughs> so now Will is level 18. Resistance. Lovely. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Thank you, Will, for being crappy! I don't remember what that village down there has. Probably something useless as well, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna ride back here with Will. Maybe we can attack someone. Yeah, might as well use this ballista for what what they're worth, right? Also, maybe it is time to drink an elixir. Nah, one more turn. Anyway, here's Rebecca. She can get a ballista too, actually. That'll be cool. You idiots! You stole 5,000 gold from me, you bloody bragging. Oh, you got hand axe as well. That's not gonna help you out, sorry. Da -da 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 -da. See, I'm a little bit annoyed about that uh, that Elysian whip. I would kind of like to have that, but hey, you can't have everything the way you want it, so. Alright, it's time for the Ballista! Ballista siblings. Uh, no, they're not siblings. That's actually really creepy because they're like in love with each other, so. Anyway, kill that guy. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit exposed right here, actually. Um, yeah, that's a little bit scary. Do I have my physics staff? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, that's actually a little bit scary right there. Sorry, my microphone just went away. Uh, let's see. How can... Stupid microphone. Stay in place. There you go. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, that's a little bit scary, actually. I'm gonna need to heal Rebecca up now, because uh, the thing is, when they're in ballistas, they, they're gonna get doubled. And uh, because ballistas weigh, weigh a lot, so it's a little bit scary, actually. And here comes Viverns. Okay, that's even worse, actually. Oh! Stay away, stay away. Hey, don't block my entrance! Oh, don't hit her, don't hit her, thank god. Oh! Yeah, that's a critical back right in your face. And a lot of reinforcements coming our way. Okay, she's she's cured of poison, that's nice. Alright, we're gonna go back a little bit with uh, Will and Rebecca. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to take this guy down, because he's scary. Yeah, I think it's time to do an elixir now. She's kind of squishy, so best not leave her too low for too long. One lands hit, and she's actually going to be in a very bad shape, so... But I really want to get her back into the arena, though. I really do. Also, that's the other village gone. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. What can you do? I think that was a worm slayer, actually. I don't remember, but yeah, that, that, I think that was my worm slayer gone. So, yeah, goodbye. But you know what? I don't really care, because uh, honestly, I have so much gold anyway. I don't need to get these treasures. What is gold to me, you know? Anyway, why are you standing on top of my arenas? Come on! Get off them! Sniper Squad! I love the Sniper Squad, I really do. Oh, the ballista broke. Well, that's sad. Yeah, let's go into the arena, guys. Why not? I wonder, do the bandits destroy villages with nothing in them? Hmm. I'm actually quite curious about that. Do they? When there's nothing to be had there, there's no reason to destroy it, right? Anyway, let's have, let's have Sarah have some more fun with these guys. I love leveling up her light magic. It's so much fun. And I forgot to turn off Skype, even though I had a chance to when, when Fraps crashed. I am such a stupid person. 
My god, there's a lot of vibrance in this chapter. Holy crap. There was a lot of vibrance in this chapter. <laughs> oh my god, Sarah, you are my hero. Oh my god. How many how many vibrants have she killed on her own? This is insane. This is just completely off the charts insane. Anyway, I do believe uh, Rebecca has some... Oh my god, sorry about that, guys. Really sorry. Anyway, I think that's that's the last... No, actually, it's not. We have more ballistas. That's cool. We'll need to leave his, though. He's just a sitting duck in there right now, so let's just exit that. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. No, I'm sorry. You... <laughs> you can't. You can't have... You can't have me. I'm saving myself for Manx. And another level up. She's now level 4. Hit points, magic, luck, and defense? What? Seriously? Defense? Oh my god. This is insane. I wonder she's gonna level up that life magic, though. I'm just wondering. Shouldn't it be... Or has she already done that? I can't remember. Oh my god. So many Vyverns. It's insane. Ah, uh, she's, she's about, oh my god, she's, she's about to get B rank, what the fudge? Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. She's gonna get B rank in, oh my god, that, that's just insane. Oh my fucking god. Alright, let's, let's light it up, see what kind of enemies are coming our way. A lot of Ivern Knights still, it seems. There's not a Ballista there, actually. I'm kind of like to, uh... Set myself in that and get some. I think my light. Yeah, that's my second lightning tome broken. You know, this would probably have been a really good opportunity. Oh, someone actually hit me. That that guy wasn't wielding a poison weapon though, or else I would have gotten poisoned right now. That's probably that's probably why he hit me. That's a little bit nasty, actually. I should be a little bit careful. And now she has A rank in light magic. Can I get her up to S rank? Probably. <laughs> insane yeah she got a rank oh my god this is this is so wonderful I'm gonna use my other sorry about that guys you know what I'm just gonna go and turn the fucking Skype off all right let's go again I think it's about time to start giving some experience to Will and Rebecca <laughs> oh my god I've been neglecting you two for this chapter it's just because I'm so amazed by Sarah's awesomeness I mean seriously have you ever seen a cleric kick so much ass it's insane! Alright, let's hope there's no more Vyverns coming our way. Ooh, okay. Oh no! Poison Lance! Oh no! Oh, more. Oh, that guy has a Steel Lance, actually. That's nasty. Yeah, I don't want any. I don't want anything to do with that guy. All right. I do believe we're... They're finally starting to run out of enemies now, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. That must be so hideously scary. Like, a little girl with pigtails. You know what? Time to use a brave boy. Brave boy. Yeah, brave boy. That was a complete waste of brave boys. Think how hilariously scary it is for a cute little cleric with pink pig, uh, pink pigtails to just wipe out an entire army right in front of you. It's like, bing, 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 bing. Die! <laughs> just imagine it. it. Must be so fucking scary. Oh, they're not done yet. Seriously? I'm gonna get fucking S rank. And the thing is, it's it's completely fine to get an S rank in light magic because there's no S rank staves in this game. So S rank in staves is completely useless. Uh, even the fortify staff is an A rank staff, so you don't need to have S rank for that. But with S rank uh, light magic, she can probably use our as I like to call it. We got any more enemies incoming now, or are we done? Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. Just gonna go check. Can I see the boss from here? I do believe they're finally done. Okay, so this is where I turn off the recording, and when we come back, I shall have leveled Hector and Bartry up. We'll see how that goes. Alright, uh, I'll see you later.
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think I've ever done this much arena in my entire life. My god, if you guys just knew what I've been through right now in order to get everything correct. Okay, so just in case you don't know, the reason why I'm arena abusing a Bartra, where is it? There he is. To a level 5 warrior. Yes, I did it. I got him all the way up to level 5. And uh, holy crap, did he suck in the level up department. My god, these are not good stats to have for a level 5 warrior. I don't know what happened, but he just got major RNG skewed. I'm actually worried that Carla's gonna rape him when uh, she shows up, but I think I should be able to fix that. I'm just gonna give him an axe or sword weaver or something and should be able to hit him that easily. So yeah, the reason why I'm leveling Bartry up is because uh, you gotta have Bartry as a level 5 warrior in order to recruit Carla, but Bartry didn't make the draft, so I had to arena abuse him off screen. Uh, all the gold that I've gotten, I've thrown away. Uh, I've even had a little bit less now. I have 8,000. I used to have, like, before this chapter, I had about 13,000 gold in stock. I sold and threw away all the weapons. However, I did uh, equip the uh, silver card and I did buy myself some iron weapons. So that's why I have a little bit less gold this time around. But I sold away all the gold I got from the arena and I bought myself just some basic equipment with the gold I had left. I also leveled up Hector to level 10 and Elwood to level 9. And that's just because I'm tired of them being like one shot by everything. And in some maps I do have to bring them out. However, I can't level them any further because if you remember, uh, if your total level of your lords combined is above 50, you go to the map where you recruit Gates and not Wallace. Gates, Gates, Gates. I don't know how you say his name, but... So I had to stop at level 10 because that means when Lin is level 20, the, their combined levels to combine will be level 40. And I don't want to go much higher than that, just in case. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing for like the past hour or two. Took quite a long time to get Bartry up because he turns out his stats are awful. And he gets killed by almost everything in there. Even with Ninian's Grace, which I used up, by the way. Uh, look at Ninian, she's level 10. Priscilla, poor Priscilla is level 15. She's been healing so much. She started out at level 1, guys. Oh, she's been healing so much. I haven't touched Sarah. She has not healed anything. And uh, as I said, this won't impact the game anything. It's just... Now I'm able to recruit Carlos. So I hope you're fucking happy, guys. I had to go with Matthew and steal the hero crest from the boss and then fuck off again. It's because I had no hero crests. Alright. Let us go and pull the boss, shall we? I know he's there over there somewhere. Alright, she has a shine tome. Alright. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, he's scary. However, he's gonna get four-shotted by Rebecca. No, doubled, actually. Interesting. Strength, skill, and luck for Rebecca. She's about to become a level 20 sniper, or level 1 sniper, I should say. Let's see, Will is level 18, Rebecca is level 18. I'm th I think I want to kill this guy with Rebecca. I want her to level up first. Because when she becomes a sniper, she gets stockings. In defeat, there is only death. Ugh. Down you go, Oleg. Thanks for giving me some experience, though. Skill and resistance. Okay, now the map ends. Hey, are you okay? Hmm? Sorry to worry you. You don't have to push yourself so. We'll have time for morning when this is all finished. For now, in my father's name, I will do everything I can to stop Nurgle and protect our lands. I see. So what do you have in mind? We need to see Marcus Ostia. My brother? After all we learned, we can't not tell him, can we? Sure, I guess. Hector, why is that odd, odd expression? Hector doesn't want to meet Lord Uther. He's been lax in contact with him and is afraid to face him, right? What? And now did you expect me to send him any messages when we're tras trasping around the aisles like merchants on holiday? <laughs> he is going to be so mad. Come here. Ah, oh, they're both in so good spirits. It's a lot better than giving in to despair, I suppose. Lord Elwood, are you feeling better? Marcus, I'm fine. I know I worried you. About Lord Elbert. In my own discretion, I sent a messenger to Lady Eleonora. I see. Thank you, Marcus. That was well done. I thought she should know as soon as possible. The Marcus' final moments were so very noble. Lord Elwood, Commander Marcus. Ah. Oh, it's Isadora. Is that you, Isadora? I finally found you. I'm glad you're well. Isadora, what are you doing here? Don't tell me something happened to Mother. 
No, Lady Eleanor is well. Do not worry. When we, when word of Lord Elbert's death reached her yesterday, she said not a word. She merely gave her full attention to the messenger. Mother. Then she issued me orders. Issued me orders without hesitation. She commanded that I deliver this, that I deliver this sword to Lord Elliwood and remain at his side. But the castle defenses will be short-handed. Lord Elliwood, please understand your mother's feelings. Lord Elbert is not coming home. All your mother, all your mother can do now is pray for your continued safety. Obey your father's dying wish. That is her message to you, and I have delivered it. Why not petition Ostia for reinforcements to help reward Castle Farah? Good idea. I guess it would ease my mother's fear and bow to her wishes. It's... Oh my god, I'm so tired right now because I've been playing Fire Emblem for like three hours. That's why I'm stumbling over my words. It's that thinking that makes you Lord Elliwood. Our battles are like nothing you've ever prepared for. Are you ready to face them, Isadora? Yes, I will serve with my very life. Woo! Mangs! What is that? You need something? Hollywood? You don't need to worry. Despite what you think, he's as strong as there is. You're not having the greatest run of luck either. I'll wager you never thought things would turn into such a terrible mess, did you? If it gets too much, you can leave at any time. Have a, you're a reliable and dependable tactician, but you're not our servant, you know. If you think our task is impossible, you should get out. You're as smart as they come. I know you don't need me to tell you that. Let's get some sleep, okay? Gotta rest when you can. That's even more true in the middle of a campaign like this. So true, Hector! I need to rest! <laughs> I need to go get some sleep. Sonia! Limstella! You cold, Lord Nirga? My wound needs time. It was a deep cut, and my strength is not what it was. The man who did this to me is dead. I'd like his son's death as a compensation. Sonia! You will use Brendan to move the Black Fang. I do not need bare underlings now. I need the Four Fangs. <laughs> leave it to me. I'll have them bowing their heads to you, my lord. Limstella, I want you to gather me quintessence. For this injury to heal, I will need much. You are the strongest of all my morphs. Kill all those who bear signs of great power. As you will. Mmm. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay, my god, ladies and gentlemen, that may not have seemed like much, but that took a lot out of me. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part, everything is set, now we can uh, recruit Harline, ha ha Harla, Harla in peace. Things should be nice, it's gonna be a while until she appears, though, I think she appears in chapter 31 or something. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you next time!